Hello, fourth and fifth grade. We are going to do a draft dragon eye or animal eye with our oil pastel colors. I'm going to just start on a draft piece of paper, draw any kind of circle. Don't worry about it, it doesn't have to be perfect, just enough space to practice with your pastels. Um, give yourself some sort of a pupil doesn't matter what kind. I guess I'm doing a fourth grade kind of a dog eye right now. Make sure you put little reflection spots in it. Let's put some reflection spots over here as well. All right, I'm going to choose a couple different colors here. Let's go with greens. You're gonna need probably three, four colors. So I'm gonna go with a dark green, a light green, and then the next thing on the color wheel from there would be a yellow. And from the yellow might be an orange or maybe even kind of this peachy color. I'll go with that. All right, the black is the last thing we're gonna do. So we're gonna start from the outside. <clears throat> this is gonna be probably the easiest way to get some really cool colors. I'm going to outline my eye. Whoop. Don't worry, oil pastels, they break. I'm gonna outline it nice and dark. Give a lot of pressure there, that's why it broke. Of course, don't be afraid to spin the paper. I think I need to do more of that just to keep myself on task. Um, all right, I'm also going to just these outer reflection spots. I'm gonna out those, outline those with my darkest green. Okay, now I'm gonna basically just um, color in from the outer circle. My dark color, nice and thick, nice and dark. It doesn't have to be completely even. In fact, the further I am away from the pupil, I'll probably make them a little bit longer strokes. Now I'm gonna go one color down, which is my light green. I'm gonna cross over into the dark green and what that's going to give me is a couple different shades now i've got like three shades of green i've got the very dark kind of the medium and then the light and i'm just going to keep going around here wow, thing here okay the next color is going to be a yellow now this is going to get a lot of green on it i can always just clean it off every time it gets too much um, yeah, so let's mix it in a little bit. That's just pretty. That's pretty cool, just like it is now. But there are some things that I can do. I'm gonna put just a little bit of yellow out in my outer edge. Give it just a little tint. Not everywhere, but... And then I'm gonna bring that dark green back in and I'm gonna outline the pupil now. Now that I've taken all my color all the way to the pupil, I'm gonna take this in. Ooh, got a lot of wax. Now, I'm going to pull it out just a little bit into the yellow. And it looks, it doesn't look as blended, but I'm going to blend it with my finger. So even though it gets a little messy, oh, my fingers are dirty. I'm gonna blend it in. You can do this with a tissue, you can do it with a paper towel. Um, I can give you a Q-tip. We'll figure out something if you don't wanna get your fingers messy. But oil pastels, are they'll blend really nicely. Okay, so we've got some good stuff going here. The last, last thing we wanna do is the black details and that's where it really comes alive. That looks pretty cool just as is. But what we can do, we can create this kind of effect where you're pulling a little bit of the black away from the pupil. You can do the same thing on, like I did here, but instead of the uh, little triangles, just a couple lines here, a couple lines from the outer edge. So to make these come alive a little bit more,
You don't have to do much. And it doesn't have to be really well thought out. Just be something that comes to you. And if it totally messes up, then we'll just do it again. Not a big deal. We got lots of paper, lots of oil pastels. I kind of like that little pointed out, pulled out thing. That looks cool. All right. So have fun making your eyes. Ta-da.